style is something that you cannot define very easily. Because it's not only what you're wearing, it's the way you do things, it's the way you wear something, it's your life, the way you live your life. I was born in Caracas, Venezuela. All the women were very well dressed. We started really from scratch with $700 and still screening t-shirts in Brooklyn. I mean, I had one year to make it work or go back and sell cattle with my dad. I did not know what I wanted to do, but I knew the kind of woman I wanted to be. For designing a collection, everybody thinks that you have to lock yourself in a dark room and the ideas come back. Fabrics really talk to me. They tell me what they want to do. I love the hand of the fabric. I love the mannequin. I love the woman. I showed for the first time at New York Fashion Week in fall 2013. I was very, very nervous. Having that kind of exposure as a young designer is amazing. Of course I get very nervous. And if I don't get nervous, I should stop. And then when the collection's finished, it's never finished. That, I can tell you. Nobody ever goes up like that. You have a lot of disappointment in my business. And you know, fashion is a dream, but if it doesn't become reality, there's nothing. I'm now 70 and I'm still disappointed. <laughs> you know, you figured you'd get over it. <laughs> and I think it gets worse. I want to say I don't think it gets any better. The person who really opened my eyes to do something like this was Diana Vreeland. Well, I've never met a woman who's not strong. All women are strong. I never think of myself as a woman's designer, as a woman being a designer. I'm a designer. Christian Lacroix once told me, he said, men design and make costumes, women make clothes. They try the clothes on themselves. They know the details, and that's why women designers are different. Women have always been empowered. What's the empowerment that we need now?